What up, y'all? It's your boy Nick Nieto, aka Nick the Actor, aka Nick the Reactor, aka whatever the hell you want to call me today. Just go for it, bruh. It don't matter because at the end of the day, I'm American. In case you couldn't fucking tell. And I'm a proud American, I'm a proud patriot. And that being said, there's a certain day of the week I get excited about. And that's Tom Friday. It's his day, fair and square. When he drops new music, I know I'm here for it. I know a lot of you are here for it because the man is saying important shit. Once again, I don't have to even assume that this is going to be anything less than a banger. The title of it is America. America, baby, come on now. Numero uno, hombre. Like, come on, it's time. I don't know why I went Spanish right there, I'm not gonna lie to you, but fuck it. We're here, Tom Friday. This is off his new album, and I haven't even gotten a chance to get the new albums because A, I know they're taking forever anyway, so it is what it is. That's a good thing. That means people are trying to listen to this music. B, I've had it in my cart along with a bunch of other merch and stuff from hangovergang.com. Go check this shit out. I'm indecisive as hell. I want everything on the fucking website. It's a problem. And then when I do that, I don't get anything at all. Not healthy? I'm working through it. And then also, honestly, if I had the albums, I'd be too tempted to listen to the songs already. But I had a feeling he would maybe drop a couple singles as music videos. So, I don't even want the temptation to hear it before I get to see the full scope and project that he wants it to become. Like this song right here. So we're here for it. It can't be anything less than fucking amazing because America, baby. And it's gonna trigger people. If you're triggered, fuck off. You know, you know how it goes. If you're mad about me pausing too much, fuck off. Kindly. Kindly fuck off. But still, fuck off. My channel, my rules. Tom's gonna speak some truth, as always. If you don't like it, it's probably a reason you don't like it. Probably hits a little, a little too close to the vest. It's Tom Friday, Hog Fam. I hope you guys are doing well. I appreciate you guys being here, hanging out with me. Once again, I have zero doubt that this is gonna be an absolute banger of a song. And I do appreciate you guys being patient with me again through all the moving and stuff. For those of you who don't know, I moved back to Los Angeles. Pray for me right now, it's been two weeks and it's already about driven me to the edge. So, this should be refreshing for me. Here's some truth bombs. I'm gonna probably go blast it outside on Hollywood Boulevard afterwards, so wish me luck. But right now, let's listen to it for the first time. Enjoy this video. America, baby. Come on now, come on now. What you got, Tom? <sighs> I gotta breathe, I gotta remember to breathe before these. I gotta remember to breathe. Let's do it. Lately, USA is getting scarier. Half of the Americans I see all hate America. Mm. They hate the cops doing their best to take care of us and kneel for the flag and salt the soldiers that we're burying. Woo! That almost sounded like a No Lives Matter type beat right there. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I just heard the very first half second, but speaking truth, it's all, it's all skewed the wrong way. It really is. Do I need to even reaffirm the point that he clearly just made? I'm going to say it again, even though I know you just fucking heard it, because it's true. And I, where I'm at right now, I see it even more than ever. It feels like half the Americans hate America. Just let that simmer. And you could say that's bullshit, but that's honestly what it feels like to a lot of people. It's a, it's a damn shame. It's a damn shame. Lately, USA is getting scarier. Half of the Americans I see all hate America. They hate the cops doing their best to take care of us and kneel for the flag and salt the soldiers that we're burying. I'm tired of the fishing and complaining. Why you living in America if all you do is hate it? You think it's brave to take a stand against the nation? Real bravery is dying for the right so you can say it. Ah. Mm. I gotta stop doing these after I get out of the gym. I'm trying to breathe and not break shit. The bitching and complaining isn't to be confused with the people trying to make a difference. Voice their opinions, because you have the right to do so on those things. Bitching and complaining is, that's all it ever is. It's not activism, it's not you changing shit, that's bitching and complaining. There's a big difference, there's a big difference. And the real bravery is with the people that have laid down their fucking lives and do it every day so that you can have an opinion, so you can voice it. At least for the most part, at least for the most part, despite what these different tech companies want to do. For example, I know I have to be extra careful even right now because I found out recently I can't spew any wrong information regarding the pokey pokey or anything related to the Rona, if you will. Hell, I may have even just gotten banned for saying that. The point I'm making though, that aside, you've got the people that are bitching and complaining and the people that are fighting that even gives you the right to bitch and complain. You have the right to bitch and complain. I think I think it's fucking stupid though. That's my right. So my thing is that's bravery over here. The people that are laying down their lives and don't deserve the fucking hate they're getting. The blatant hate. Bad eggs everywhere, yes. 
America's not perfect, yes, but the bitching and complaining is not bravery. That sure as hell is a lot more brave to be fighting and laying down your life for the entire ability to speak your, speak your freedom, speak your, speak your voice, speak your opinions. I could rant about it all day long, but we're going to get back to it. We're going to get back to it. And again, if you're mad about me pausing, I'm sorry. Just kidding. I'm not. You can say it. Dear America, what happened to Americans? Apparently no one's aware or cares that it's embarrassing. It's arrogance. Our greatest enemy was always slavery and terrorists. And now it's people in the country trying to burn the heritage. Hmm. He's not saying the other part doesn't exist. Obviously, I'm not saying slavery still exists to that extent. In the U.S., other places, yes, it does still exist. If you'd like to try your hand at some of those other countries, go ahead. But... My point is, it does feel like there's more internal issues that we have to worry about of just plain violence trying to get stirred and shit like that than from outside sources even, which is a crazy thing to have happen. In this country, that is insane. In the country trying to burn the heritage. I can't help it, I just seem to see the world different. It ain't Republicans or liberals, it's mental illness. The internet is only interested in left opinions. Cancel culture's got more power lately than the First Amendment. I told myself I wouldn't be trying to abuse my headphones anymore, so that's why I try to remove them from the situation. I put them in their safe space, which if they're, no, they're not really safe right here with a bar like that. <sighs> Cancel culture has more power lately than the First Amendment. <sighs> that's a terrifying thing. And again, most of you know this, but as somebody who works in the entertainment industry, as a typically conservative minded, I don't consider myself right or left, but most of my values, I think, skew to the traditional conservative values. Me having that just by itself. It's a totally different experience for me out here than somebody who hides that shit or is so far to the other side that they're just like, oh, come on in, come on in. But all of a sudden, that welcomeness and that difference and that ability to have your free speech, oh no, cancel. It is what it is. I'm gonna ref I refuse to be canceled out here. I, ref I fucking refuse, so. I do not consent. How about that? Checkmate, bitch. Like, it's so true, though, that that seems to have overrun the First Amendment. And it's it's a fucking... It's it's crazy. It doesn't make sense. People have forgotten what this country... It's got Tom speak. Interested in left opinions. Cancel culture's got more power lately than the First Amendment. If you don't like it, leave. We will not defund police. No. We don't want no riots in our neighborhoods or in the street. <laughs> Hold on with the flow, Tom. If you don't like it, leave. Oh, my God. Hold on. In the First Amendment. If you don't like it, leave. We will not defund police. We don't want no riots in our neighborhoods or in the streets. We nope. respect freedom of speech. We protect what we believe. We don't want nobody dead, so please do not tread on me. Do not tread on me, baby. He just, he said it. He said how everybody's feeling. At least all the real woke, woke people are feeling. Not the I'm woke people, but the actual people that are awake. And once again, you can bitch about him saying the same shit over and over again. It's because it needs to be said. It's got to kick in at some point. You've got to hear it over and over again. Some people do. So please do not tread on me. In America, your freedom ain't free. In America, that soldier's dying overseas. So America, you say what we believe. My America, I won't have to take a knee. Okay. Freedom is the reason you can disrespect our flag. The hook's not bad. I like the hook. I like the hook. Freedom is the reason you can disrespect our flag. And again, I don't have to like it, but that's what freedom is. But then you only want to be selective with it and take it away in certain moments. You can't, that's not the way it works. That's not, that's not how it's set up to be. It's not how it's ever meant to be, nor should it be now. It doesn't make sense. You don't get to just be selective on that. Otherwise, it, the whole, it's, it's a moot point at that point. The reason you can disrespect our flag If my stars and stripes are fading. I have to tell people this all the time on my videos because as you can see in every one of my videos just about I've got this beautiful thing behind me because of this beautiful thing behind me I've been called racist I've been called called a dumb American you feel like you have to push it around you stupid American like I've been called every name in the book Nazi I, just because I have this in the back not to mention again I'm half Mexican so I don't know how that fucking works there's new rules on that side too <laughs> If this offends you, if this bugs you, A, click off the channel. Nobody's forcing you to be here. Shoo, shoo, go somewhere else. But also, 
I will help you pack your bags. I'll buy you the suitcase. I'll even do the whole sit on it thing to make sure you got all your bullshit in there. I'll pay the oversized baggage fee just to take care of the problem. If you think it's so bad, don't just keep talking the talk, walk the walk. I wish you the best. I really do. I really do. Nobody know what the hell happened to the Patriots lately this nation is so ashamed and hating itself did everyone mm. forget that people died to pay for this ungratefulness United States gave everything to you just to help I just want uh, I like this flow I don't even need to repeat what he's saying y'all know y'all can hear him I just want to hear it again because it sounds so damn good so I'm gonna go back nation is so ashamed and hating itself did everyone forget that people died to pay for this ungratefulness United States gave everything to you just to help I just want to celebrate Thanksgiving with my family I don't need your help to understand it was a tragedy yeah. can I just be thankful for my country eating happily without you trying to kill me for the genocide and casualty everybody's looking for the one wrong thing in things that are predominantly positive because of history, they're trying to dig so much for something to be an activist about, or philanthropist, whatever the fuck they want to call themselves. They're digging so hard. They're grabbing at nothing to try to turn it into a big thing to make them feel better about themselves. And it is so dumb and so lame and so unintelligent, it's not even funny. And counterproductive is really the issue. It's 100% counterproductive. Because if you actually want to try to make things better, don't grasp at these small things, blow them out of proportion just so that you feel good or you feel involved or it gives you some sense of purpose because you don't do anything with your life. I'm gonna stop, let's go. I could go on and on and on, let's keep going. Eating happily without you trying to kill me for the genocide and casualties. I can't help it, I just seem to see the world different. Yep. It ain't black or white, it's conflict designed by the system. Mm -hmm. I don't need your pronouns, all I see is- Again. I like the fact he's pointing that out in another song. It's not about left, it's not about right. It's about the system and it, it is, we're being driven apart. And everybody, a lot of people, I'm not gonna say everybody, and there's people on both sides that are continuously feeding into it. It's not just one side. There are people on both ends, both sides, both different areas that are allowing that to be successful. Stop it, just stop it. As somebody who works in entertainment, I can tell you, they're trying their best. And they're very good at what they do, I understand, but stop buying into it. It's not the same media it was 10 years ago, 20 years ago. It's a modern age where all they want are the clicks, the views, and they're willing to do whatever it takes. It's reality TV at this point. As somebody who's worked on reality TV, trust me, it is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So, just try your best, and it's not going to be a perfect system, but try to just look around you before you actually look to the news, to social media. Look around you in your life. Look at the things you have, look at everything that you're blessed with, and then you can go and you can point out things that you'd like to change. But don't let your worldview be what you see or what's forced to you or fed to you through the TV, through Twitter, through Instagram, through YouTube even. Just use your brain, please, just try it. It ain't black or white, it's conflict designed by the system. I don't need your pronouns, all I see is men and women. Kids are taking pills for fun while people can't afford prescriptions. Tom's canceled. Like, too bad there isn't a concrete metric for how many times you get marked as being canceled. Tom probably, his counter would be through the roof. Mine would be pretty up there too. But it'd be like if there was like a cancel Olympics. I might grab the, I might grab the silver. I think Tom might, might have me beat by a little, but I, I'm cool with silver medal, you know what I'm saying? It is almost like a, you know, a medal nowadays to have that, that mob after you in some, some capacity. Sometimes it's deserved, very rarely though, and it gets blown out proportion way too much. But I like that, I like that a lot. It ain't black or white, it's conflict designed by the system I don't need your pronouns, all I see is men and women Kids are taking pills for fun while people can't afford prescriptions If you don't like it Are you listening? I know you're hearing it, but are you actually listening? All I see is men and women Kids are taking pills for fun while people can't afford prescriptions If you don't like it, go Hate it, then don't call it home We don't need no violence, got no time for all you radicals I love that flow, dog. Tom, that flow Money, dog. Money Oh, I wanna, here, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pills for fun while people can't afford prescriptions If you don't like it, go Hate it, then don't call it home We don't need no violence, got no time for all you radicals Whoops. Screw status quo, we're not animals I won't kneel for the anthem cause the flag is what I'm standing for That's what I'm standing for and fuck a status quo. If that hasn't been my mantra in the entertainment industry in Hollywood, 
I don't know what is. Because I'm trying to change that status quo and I see it, I see it, and in many ways it gets forced upon you, or they try to force it upon you, just like some other things going on in the world. If you want things to go as planned, you better stick to this. Just stick to it. Don't, don't stray from it. Fuck that. Fuck that. Because if you do that, nothing changes. And then they have all the control. Shit gets one-sided and that's how we end up where we're at now. You gotta fight back. You gotta fight back. And this man Tom is doing that with music like this. I don't care what you say. In America, the freedom made free. Mm. In America, that soldiers dying overseas. So America, you say what we believe. My America, I won't ever take a knee. Our freedom is the reason you can disrespect our flag. Woo. If my stars and stripes offend you, then I'll help you back your bags. America, you can hate the government and still love the country. The fundamental values of America are country. Republicans and liberals are dumb to put it bluntly. They're labels that they use to create chaos and corruption. Sum it up right there. You can question the government and still love the country. That's the thing. That's why there's going to be this flip of like, oh, Tom, you're saying people you shouldn't bitch about anything. Once again, difference between bitching and complaining and distrust or maybe a hope to change shit. And actually a way of you think should be changing and voicing your actual opinion that could be productive and comes from reason and logic one is just from emotion one is from logic god this is getting me so i, I usually am a lot more goof, like lighthearted about these but again after being where i'm living right now this hits different and i appreciate it Republicans and liberals are dumb to put it bluntly They're labels that they use to create chaos and corruption You can know the history and still be proud of where you're from Every flag around the world is covered in a little blood We started out United States divided is what we've become If home is where the heart is you should show America some love United States, oh and then, oh my god dude I wanna break that, I wanna, I wanna hear that bar, bar for bar Every flag around the world has a little blood Nothing's perfect, no place is perfect But again, you have the freedom to go try something else if you'd like Country. Republicans and liberals are dumb to put yep. it bluntly They're labels that they use to create chaos and corruption You can know the history and still be proud of where you're from Every flag around the world is covered in a little blood We started out United States divided is what we've become We started out United States divided is what we've become Woo! It's a shame It's all, it's all a fucking shame world is covered in a little blood We started out United States divided is what we've become If home is where the heart is you should show America some love if home is where the hardest, ooh, if home is where the hardest, you should show America some love. Damn, that's hard to say for some reason. Respect, Tom. I love that. If home is where the heart is, you should show America some love. There is such a big difference between the fucking government and love for your country. That's an important point, which I haven't really heard brought up or voiced as well. And I appreciate that from this song. I really, that, that bar just kind of stuck out to me because I think that's an important, that's an important point that I think people should hear. I love it. I love it. And again, video, of course, is, is super cool. I don't know where you rented that truck from. I like it. You could have borrowed a flag from me, Tom. You know I'm strapped with these flags, bruh. But I like it. I like it. The heart is you should show America some love. In America, the freedom ain't free. In America, that soldiers dying overseas. So America, you say what we believe. My America, I won't ever take a knee. My freedom is the reason. Mm. Yeah. Ready for battle, baby. Damn. Indeed, good sir. Indeed, brother Tom. Indeed, indeed, indeed. That was a very well done song. Some of it even felt repetitive for me, but for the most part, I really enjoyed it. it. It was all said in different ways. And people who say he's saying the same thing over and over again, he's not. At the very least, he's saying some of the same messages, perhaps, because they're the you know main messages that people need to hear right now. Because it's not getting through to a lot of people, I feel like. Or a lot of people aren't even, they're just putting up a wall and they're not listening to it. Huh, putting up a wall, isn't that funny? It's good to hear it in different ways and laid out to show these things that are just aren't logical in today's world. The way that things are like very hypocritical and juxtaposed and it's good to hear those things in different ways because every time it's heard in a different way, that could hit somebody for the first time. That could really open up somebody's eyes or they could just think about it differently. I know even hearing some of the things he said, I'm thinking about a couple things differently and 
maybe just with the slightest different outlook as opposed to maybe before. Even if I agreed with it before, it gives you a bit, a bit more depth to some of these issues that kind of keeps you aware perhaps to where on a daily basis you're less inclined to look at things a certain way such as bitching and complaining and actually looking at things with logic and with reason and look for ways that you can actually make a difference while also not taking for granted that yes that's a very righteous thing you could be doing there's a lot more things and people out there doing righteous shit and brave shit that allow you to even have that in the first place and I think that's also an important sentiment that doesn't get talked about enough not saying Tom in general but that's braver People forget about that and it feels like those individuals that serve our country, whether it be overseas or domestic, it seems like they only get talked about when something terrible happens and it's, they're getting shit on or, very, or just talked about in passing. The sacrifice that they make every day, especially with those social issues right now, like I wouldn't want to be a police officer right now, would you? Like, no, fuck no. But still they go out and they do their job every day. All these people do these jobs every day so that we can do what we can do, go about our lives, that gives us the ability to have these opinions, voice these things in the first place. And then those same people that are beneficiaries of their work want to all of a sudden take away everything that this flag represents. It's the dumbest thing. It's ungratefulness, it's ignorance, and it's the people, honestly, that if you don't like it, you should just go. Try something else. Go try another place, come back, and you can share your experience. Key point of being there, you can come back because you probably will. Typically, maybe not. Maybe you'll enjoy it and I wish you the best. I wish everybody the best. I never wish ill upon anybody, but I think some people don't really understand how great this country is with all of its imperfect issues, with all of its flaws, with its imperfect history, just like every other country. It's America. There's nothing like it in the world. So, I know I went on a lot of tangents. I know I went on a lot of ranting, repeating myself, as I sometimes do. Shout out to Tom. Tom, dude, another banger. You know this. I can't wait to hear the albums. I need to order them ASAP. I'm so excited to listen to the rest of the tracks you got on there because I know there's some fucking truth bombs all throughout and just some good fucking music. Nova, great video. Making the most out of several props and stuff like that and visuals that still have an impact. From the presidential sequence to the car to Tom in that outfit, which apparently is all of a sudden stolen valor. You know what? We're not gonna even go there. We're not gonna even go there. It's that dumb. But Tom, killed it again. People can think whatever they want, they can say whatever they want. I respect the dude for saying what he's saying. I truly believe everything he's saying is what he means, what he believes, and that he's actually saying it for a reason because he truly wants to make a difference. And that's that. And I know most of Hog Fam agrees with me. This is music that matters. Point blank, as always, they killed it. Tom and Nova, they're doing good things. And me personally, not just for the fact of me doing these videos, just as a listener, I appreciate it. As somebody who's relates so much to these messages, I appreciate it, and as always, it, it impresses me every time. So, Tom Nova, much love, as always. Everybody else, that's all I got today. Once again, I'm going to keep trying to pump out as many videos of different artists, different things, as I continue to go through the next couple weeks, as I'm kind of in this limbo between getting into my next apartment, God willing, um, working from a temporary setup. I'm trying my best, working through my mental health, and making sure everything stays, you know, stays level, and not try to overdo anything. So I appreciate you guys very much for the patience, all the love, all the kind messages, all the support as always blows me away. Pretty soon here we're going to be hitting the ground running faster than ever and I can't wait for that. But right now that's all I got. As always I hope you're having a good day, a good week, good month, good whatever you're having right now. In case nobody told you today, as always, I love you. You're amazing. You're fantastic. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, that's a wrap. I can't even, I need to find something to throw at my camera because I can't reach it. All right, bye.